The 1.6 update is here, and with it comes a lot of great and much needed quality of life improvements to the game. Let's run through all the changes together, and because we are discussing the new content, I will be issuing a Stardew spoiler warning. If you're new here and want to subscribe, go ahead and do so now. Pets that love you will sometimes give you gifts. NPCs now have winter outfits. There's now waterfalls around the valley. Cutting down a fruit tree now yields the appropriate sapling. In addition, a silver quality fruit producing tree will produce a silver quality sapling. Gold quality fruit tree, gold quality sapling, and so on. And finally, the more mature your tree is, the less time it retakes to grow. So redesigning your farm is going to get way better because you don't have to sacrifice all your mature fruit trees if you want to switch things up. Jellies, juices, wines, and pickles will now appear as the color of the item that was used to make the artisan good. This will be helpful to find out which wine or jelly you're looking for, and it'll be so much easier to sort through all your chests that have stacks and stacks of artisan goods in them. There's now an animal tab that shows you all your pets and animals and how many hearts you have with each of them, and if you've pet them today. It used to be slower to harvest right to left, and now it is just as fast as harvesting left to right. The time it takes to make your pet ghost, or in other words, be able to walk through them, is down from 1.5 seconds to only 0.75 seconds. No more passing out before making it to bed safe and sound. There's four new cabin variants. You can now eat mayonnaise. This one is such a troll move by Concerned Ape because he specifically said in the past on Twitter that the thought of eating mayo grossed him out. However, I think this was the right but very gross call personally. Your sword will now have the same area of effect when swinging, whether you're facing up, down, left, or right. Previously, if you were facing down or towards the south of the map, you had a little bit less range. I find this a very helpful change because you do start each room in the mines at the north or the top half of the map, so it's very common to be walking towards and facing downwards when you're slashing your sword. No more dying in the mines. If you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a like so other 1.6 update players can find this too. There are four new home renovations, dining room, attic, expanded corner room, and cubby. These do cost money, but you also get them refunded if you remove them from your home. Spouses can no longer regret their decision to marry you. Well, at least not for the first seven days. Fixed a bug where your spouse cannot lay in bed depressed for the first seven days after your wedding. It's being called the honeymoon phase. The community center fish tank now becomes an actual fish tank when you complete it. There's now a special items and powers tab to replace the wallet. The wallet area now tracks a selection of progress markers. There's two new breeds of cats and dogs to choose from. You can now place hats on dogs and hats on cats. There's some major UI improvements, including sound in the night event show an icon when an event is happening, indicating that a sound is playing. Robin's menu will show how long a building will take to build. The farmhouse and pet bowl can now be moved through Robin's menu. That is huge. I never thought we'd get to see the day where we could move our farmhouse. There's now a really cute jingling sound when running with the cinder clown shoes on. There are many new NPC dialogues, including custom gift reactions, and dynamic dialogues which react to things that happened. Baby Toss now has a chance to crit. Added seasonal world map variants. The world map is also redrawn to better match in-game locations and be more detailed. There's now a world map for Ginger Island. And speaking of Ginger Island, you can now use the mini jukebox and play whatever kind of music you want. The farm computer can now be used anywhere to see a summary of that location instead of only the farm. This is going to be so great, especially for Ginger Island. The world map shows your actual location now within each screen, not just a fixed location for each section of the world. You can now add treasure chests, pearls, and even anchors to the fish tanks. There's even more secrets and easter eggs that are now added to the game. There are many more accessory options in character creation. There's now a Skull Cavern statue that can be used to toggle hard mode in the Skull Cave after you've completed the QI challenge for the first time. Added some new rare ambient critters, summer butterflies, and a brown bird variant. 
I think this is the brown bird variant. I've never seen this one before. Town trees are now real trees, but we still can't cut them down. Updated the Volcano Gold Ore Node Sprites, which is good because I always thought that I found a rare node, but it was just gold. There's now more holiday decorations in winter around the town. The riverbanks and lakeshores are way less jagged looking. Graphic improvements and added decor to a lot of the building interiors. Evelyn and George get a new roof. Parrots flying now have their own unique flap instead of matching the one with bats. Skull Caves can now also play music from the upper mines. Pans can now yield bone fragments. If you destroy a mine chest, it will show some debris. Slime hutches are going from the largest building ever to a very mini one. They used to take up 11 by six, now they only take up seven by four. Many performance improvements. He was very vague on this one, but from playing the game so far, I can agree. NPCs now shove chests out of their way instead of destroying them. Thank goodness. You can now strafe with the watering can to change the hit area without changing direction. No more rewatering the same crops over and over. You can refill slingshot ammo by right clicking with the same ammo, similar to how you put bait onto the fishing rod. Planting cactus seeds on the farm now fails and says not available versus just planting it and it dying overnight. Holding a tea sapling over a garden pot shows the red green placement tile to make it much easier to plant those tea saplings. You can no longer pick up rugs if something else is on it. This is great. You can drive yourself to the desert. Post fishing sparkling text to indicate you've caught something for the first time. Torches can now be placed on sprinklers. Audio improvements, which include ducking out music while you're summoning your horse, for example, versus stopping whatever track is playing. You can now check a pet bowl and it'll show your pet's name. You can now move chests by hitting them twice with a tool, instead of having to put an empty spot in your inventory before trying to move it. You can now place flooring beneath most buildings. This is something I recently discovered when I was designing my beach farm and it was bothering me so much, so this is a welcome change. Crystallariums have to be removed and replaced to avoid wasting gems. Daily billboard quests now have better trackers to inform when you have made progress on them. There's now a small check mark icon on special orders that you've already completed. You can now skip the pet adoption scene, which causes you just to adopt the pet automatically. Emptying a fish pond with fish still in it will cause the remaining fish to flop out of the pond. You can now update the flooring in the slime hutch, decorate however you like. You can remove the starting incubator in the slime hutch and put it wherever you want. Inventory tooltips for food that give a buff now show the buff duration in the tooltip. The organize feature on chests now organizes quote unquote better. The adventure guild is now open until 2 a.m. All clothes can now be worn by everyone regardless of gender. Mini obelisk warp time is now a little bit faster. NPCs will now avoid walking through trees or other terrain. They will slightly update their pathing. Cabins are now one menu item in Robin's shop, and there's a button to change the appearance of which cabin you want. Pet icons on the inventory tab are now replaced with the current date since they have their own tab in the menu now. Newly colored artisan goods can now count as their specific color for QI quests and the die menu. Clams are finally considered fish, which matches all the other shellfish. Character randomization is now a little less random and some new hairstyles and accessories are added to the mix. The pan no longer yields the same thing if you pan at the same spot twice in one day. The map no longer closes if you click on a area that is a point of interest. Festivals now have map and dialogue changes every second year, just to mix things up a little bit. Added a new interaction with the horse. There are now jack-o'-lanterns added in the town after the Stardew Valley Fair in the fall. If you manage to get a perfect good day or a perfect bad day, there will be a special background on the Fortune Teller TV show. Several lighting changes for weather, time of day, and season. 
Boat journeys now reflect the current season. Some trees will lose their leaves in the fall. You can now press the Y or N key to confirm or cancel the Leaf Festival confirmation box. You can now shift and right click an item on the toolbar to throw it out of your inventory if it's possible to do so. I'm really excited about these last two. When you buy an animal from Marnie's shop, it will center the camera on an appropriate building when purchasing an animal. No more scrolling through your entire farm map. And last but not least, if you hold left shift, left control, one, and right click, it will attempt to buy a stack up to 999. So you can buy the maximum amount you can afford of any item in the shop. So there we have it friends, that was 88 balance changes. I can't believe we got through all those in less than 15 minutes. This is just the start of the 1.6 content. I am still working on getting all the new items and unlocking all the new content. So stay tuned for more videos. And until then, enjoy farming, exploring, and have a great day.